All right, back to patterns for the corn tool and cutter grinder. We're starting on the base patterns. These are just going to be a quick and dirty pattern, or relatively quick and dirty pattern, although we'll go through the build process of them. I'm not going to strictly follow standard pattern making procedures because I'm not going to laminate, you know, I'm not going to, I'm going to use the material I got on hand and we're going to scab it together. You know, this is a one or a two off casting, so I'm not going to get overly concerned about it. This is the first one, and this is a grown up from what it was. This is about a 30, 33% increase in size. I don't know how well we can see this here on the, but this is our top view of the left hand base casting and this is our side view. So I've got enough material here, we're two and a half inches thick, or wide if you look at it top to bottom. And um, I've got a two by four that we plane down, it's inch and a quarter thick, so I'm going to put the two halves, and I am going to build this as a split pattern. I don't have enough to get the full height, so I'm going to add that later. Anyway, we're going to just basically for right now cut our two side pieces out, or cut our two laminates for this main bottom piece, and uh, we'll go ahead and glue them together. So we want a couple of nine inch pieces out of this. And we're not going to get a whole lot more than just that uh, piece out. So we're going to do away with this one to start with. Just get rid of that on the end there. That should still give us enough material. It'll give us a little extra. And we'll just cut two of those. Alright, these are our two pieces cut off. We're going to glue them together in just a minute. I thought we'd do initial layout on top of this to match the side view. Alright, this is just a rough sketch of what we've got. This is going to be our base. These are our feet here. And um, main column will run down through here. We'll have a hole through there and a hole there for our front rails to come through. And this is just cut away here. Um, basically the same as the corn. We'll add the vertical boss afterwards. Same way with the vertical boss back here, which are the hold down bolts for it. And we'll laminate two of these together. So they're going to go together just like that. And the easiest way to do this so that uh, you can, we can separate these two halves. And when I add the bosses and the rest of the material up here on top, we'll have to um, orient the split on those two to match up with the center line on here, which is not a major deal. Um, it's easier to piece them together on a small pattern like this than it is to try and make it into one piece and sand the actual contours and get everything exact for me. It's easier to do it this way. I get a nicer round surface and I can blend them a little bit better. So anyway, just the way I choose to do them. So the easiest way to do it, as I say, is to run a coat of glue down through here. And I had, there was a bobble where we'd cut out something for, for this. It's on the inside of the pattern, so it's not going to affect anything. That's why I put it there. It's something I don't have to fill up later on. So to separate them, what we'll do is we'll just stick a couple of pieces of newsprint in between. Lots of glue on both halves. These out of the way. And use white Elmer's glue would work just as well for this.
just like that. Okay, so we'll let that cure up, and um, then when we're done, we'll cut it out on the bandsaw. We'll leave a little bit extra because we're going to want some draft on both halves of it. We'll have to set up our boss for here, and the boss on the ends, and uh, then we can finish shaping it and pop it apart. Well, we've got our pieces all glued up with the exception of the two end bosses on the left-hand end. Um, this will be the right end of the base or the right base and that will be the left base and I also glued up just a little another little short piece that will get attached to the top of uh, that one for the upright boss for the uh, for the upright pillar so uh, we'll let those cure then once that's dried why well, we can go back trim these up a little bit and go ahead and finish our layout and then we'll cut them out on the bandsaw a little bit of perspective for size on these corn patterns these were originally the patterns that I built years and years ago that my corn is cast off of. Um, so these are built to the specs in the plan sheet. So these were my patterns and of course they orient like this. We've got our two bars going through however far apart. So those are those patterns. To put it in perspective, here's our 33 percent enlarged patterns. This one's not close to being done yet. The other, the tailstock end, I got a little bit more. But that's a third larger right there. So there's quite a bit quite a bit more uh, size just in that 33 percent step up. This pattern's basically formed and, and done. We've got to fill the edges and, and uh, then separate it. Now I planned on these being a split pattern so we can separate them in the middle and I'll go ahead in all these places where I've added a uh, another joint on the on the um, split line or on the pattern line like through here. I'll go ahead drill those and dowel them and then we'll align them through and then we'll go ahead and separate them then we can put them back together and do do final fill and sand on on this one type of thing and we'll do this we've still got quite a, more, a bit more material to remove on this and and smooth it up a third larger we'll have a quite substantially larger machine when we're done I think it'll take care of all the capabilities that I want to do from a for a true tool and cutter grinder in my little home shop hopefully you stick around hopefully you found something interesting here and uh, if you didn't have it already, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. If you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. And any comments, suggestions, leave them in the comments section for me below. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch.